and then yellow color. Yeah, yellow. A 10 months old Dustin was brought to the clinic as he was vomiting and had diarrhea. This video is an educational video on the practice of evidence based medicine. Then the tooth diarrhea, how many times? 5 to 10 times. Yeah. And also, yellow color. Uh, it's, it's very. very uh, soft one. Yeah, it's just uh, yellow watery, or light. light watery. Yeah. Yellow or light brown. Uh, and then lost appetite. Yeah, lost appetite. So you, you went to the emergency bed yesterday? Yeah. Then uh, after that treatment, still having diarrhea? Yeah, uh, it's getting worse actually after that. So, uh, the. Yesterday, during the day before going to the flight, actually only three times diarrhea. So after going there, the that night is yeah five to ten times. Okay. Yeah. So basically, this 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 young dog likes to lick lick at the people right and lick at the floor right. Yeah. So is it because the dog has been licking on the floor and eating grass? Could be. <laughs> because you all change habit, is it? You all change. Uh, the during the, the last week, I mean, we often bring him to outside uh, to take a walk. And, and, and then, then he, he, he eats grass. Sometimes. But before that, he, he never goes out. He stay at home. Yeah. So that could be the reason that the bacteria and the, and the toxin from the grass, the soil. Oh. Uh, so, because he's not used to it, he's used mm. to a very clean environment. Yeah. The dog is diagnosed with acute gastroenteritis. It is the inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract, usually the stomach and the intestines, which leads to frequent diarrhea and vomiting. There are many causes that can lead to gastroenteritis, and through practicing evidence-based medicine, Dr. Singh concluded the cause of gastroenteritis in the dog to be due to toxins in the body. Evidence-based medicine is the use of evidence such as blood tests and x-ray results in diagnosis and treatment. The blood test results show that the dog has low glucose levels. This could be because he has not been eating well due to his gastroenteritis. He also has abnormally high levels of SGPT and SGOT. SGPT and SGOT are liver enzymes within the liver cells that help to metabolize liver functions and are usually released into the bloodstream when the liver is damaged. Abnormally high levels of these enzymes suggest that the liver could be damaged due to toxins. The high level of urea reflects dehydration due to diarrhea and vomiting. Normal levels of the total white cell count and neutrophils show that there is no bacteria or viral infection. As the function of white cells is to fight against infections, bacterial infection would cause more white cells to be released into the bloodstream to the site of infection, hence increase total white cell count above normal. While there are viruses that can disrupt the production of white cells causing an abnormally low white cell count, it could also be because white cells are depleted when fighting against bacterial infections, but a low white cell count makes the body sus susceptible to secondary viral infections. Thus, an abnormally low total white cell count could also indicate viral infections. The production of platelets is regulated by a hormone mainly produced in the liver. Hence, the production of the hormone, thus platelets, could be affected if the liver is damaged by toxins. The absence of platelet clumps show that the low number of platelets is not due to clumping, while the occurrence of giant platelets could also be due to possible liver damage. As such, by examining evidence such as the dog's blood test results and information from the owner, Dr. Singh was able to conclude that the dog suffered from acute gastroenteritis due to toxins. The dog was given an IV drip and antibiotics and went home on the evening of the same day. On the following day, Dr. Singh called the dog's owner to follow up on the dog's condition. The dog was already better and more active and stopped vomiting or having diarrhea. Availability of evidence such as blood and urine tests allows the vet to make a more accurate diagnosis and treatments. So, do bring your dogs for health checks and such tests as needed.